So, is Frank happy I gave him control of the tower? I didn't have a chance to talk to him yet. I hope it was worth it. Because you lost your chance to find Mia? <sighs> yeah. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. Now, let's just get my sneakers back. Back? Were they stolen? The one? If you knew where your things were, why haven't you gone back to get them before now? See that opening? Apartment 216. Go look for a large red box with gold trim. That's where I stored my shoes. Aren't you coming with me? You're why my shoes are ruined. You get me new ones. Go inside, take the shoes, and leave. And don't touch anything else. Got it? Hey, you got me suspicious, Luan. What's going on? Just go get him, would you? You climbed the fucking TV station tower. You can climb into an apartment. It depends on what's in there. I'm fine, chicken. I'm inside. Don't touch anything. Just get those shoes. What's in here that's got you so sweet? <sighs> container 
nearby. The one? <laughs> you look almost... Almost happy. Pretty cozy nest. Why'd you ditch it for that den at the fisheye? Because that den is my home. I took all I needed with me. Except for the shoes, that is. fortune in these bottles. Looks like they uh, spend a lot of time here. I found your shoes. Great. Now get the fuck out of there. Oh, but it's quite the love nest with the wine and the view and the music. I mean, I'm starting to see a whole new Luan here. And you know what? I don't blame this guy, whoever he was, for liking her. Fuck you, Aiden. But I, I didn't... Luan, wait. What? Come on. Oh, you bastard. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks, but bears it out, even to the edge of doom. Oh, shit, Luan!
Luan, you there? Come on. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Just meet me on my rooftop. Get there and wait for me. You can give me the shoes and then fuck off. Who figures you'd end up at the place you go when you're pissed off? Go, go.
Here, I got your sneakers. You should also have this. I didn't realize you and Hakon had been together. Why do you think he's so high on my hit list? Yeah, that makes sense. Just because someone reads poetry doesn't mean they don't deserve to die. Did you guys break up because he abandoned Frank, or did he abandon Frank because you broke up? <sighs> There's really no point in analyzing that now, Aiden. Whatever happened, it was a mistake, okay? I should have never been so naive. That's why I didn't want you snooping around. For fuck's sake, you could have just respected that. I'm sorry. Forget we went there. Just leave me alone. The one, what's going on? You just don't give up, do you? <laughs> you should know that by now. You should know I fucking hate whimpering. Saying how you feel isn't whimpering. Fine. Stick around if you have to, but don't interrupt me. I'm busy. You're getting drunk? No, you dork. Looking at the stars. Hey, I can see the Big Dipper. Hmm, aren't you brilliant? Except that's not the Big Dipper. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it was worth a try, though. You know any other constellations? Yeah. Frank taught me a lot about the night sky back in the day. We were building the fisheye, and I'd climb the scaffolding all the way up to the roof. Frank would come up to tell me it's too cold, too late, and whatnot. But he always ended up telling stories for hours and hours. And I love to listen. The stars are so clear and seem close enough. You could grab them by the balls. <laughs> Frank's way of putting it. Nice, huh? What about you, Aiden? And what about me? Do pilgrims get their hearts broken? Uh, well, I... We tend to... Just forget it. Wow. The shy type. Looks like your constellation is... Sickness. See, what, miss? <laughs> there, look. The swan. When I stargaze, I always find the swan first. You're making all this up to impress me. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you impressed? <laughs> Pretty much. And that poem? It's just words, Aiden. Words mean things. Love's not time's fool, though rosy lips and cheeks within his bending sickle's compass come. Love alters not with his brief hours and weeks. Just words, huh? Yeah. Just words. So... Did you meet Hakon when you were building the fisheye with Frank? He and Frank used to hang out with each other a lot. They were friends. It's a simple story, really. I was a young girl looking for attention. He didn't mind having his fun. The good thing is, lesson learned. For life. You still care, don't you? Otherwise, why make me go into the apartment? Yeah, I care, Aiden. About the person I am now. That's why I didn't want to go back there. So the weak little girl that lived there doesn't get the better of me anymore. I used to hate her. Now, I'm so over her. Um, let's, uh, let's get some sleep. Aiden, 
If I see Hakon, I'm gonna kill him. Simple as that. Don't try to stop me. That's fine. But you know revenge doesn't make you feel better. This isn't for me. That's for Frank. I will avenge everyone who died that night. A lot of stars winked out forever. Hakon talks big. But when it came down to it, he bailed on his friends and they died. He showed his real face. Fucking coward. You can't turn back the clock. True. But I can stop his fucking clock. And I fucking will. Yeah. Good night, Aiden. You there? Right, folks. Let's start this new chapter with some inspirational music for you. Aiden, you there? Come to the Kenzie. No offense, Frank, but I really don't have any more time for you. Matt was gonna help me find my sister, but I gave the tower to you instead, and now I'm... I'm fucked. Calm down. Come to the fisheye and we'll talk. I might have an idea. I wanna help you, Aiden. Fine. Be there soon. <laughs> 